political menace. What are you going to give me? Oh dear. Jade Idol costing nine. We know what card it is swapped with. Yep. One cost Void Lord for him. Nine cost Jade Idol for me. And that was enough to lose me the game, ultimately. Turn six, one cost Void Lord. Anyway, what deck am I playing today? I am playing Slug Cats, Jade Druid, with my favourite card in the game, Ysera Unleashed, um, but featuring two copies of Tentacled Menace. Now, what would compel me to play this card? Um, both players draw a card, and you swap the costs of those cards. Now, I can see the value in it if, um, you know, you were facing an aggressive opponent who plays cheap cards, and you play Tentacle Menace, and it swaps uh, a one or two cost card in their deck, uh, and the cost is swapped with, I don't know, Ysera Unleashed, or Ultimate Infestation, or Alex Straza. Or even Spreading Plague, for that matter, against an aggro deck. Uh, there is certainly value in it. I think I need to get better at my timing as to when I play this card. So, um, playing Tentacled Menace when I have lots of cheap cards or cheaper cards still left in my deck is not a good idea. So, um, anything under the cost of five, I probably should have played or have in my hand at that point in time um, and only play the Menace if I'm confident it will swap the costs with one of my more expensive cards. Uh, maybe, maybe that is a strategy that I need to adopt going forward. But when it works, when you do pull off that good RNG with Tentacle Menace, and the results can be most beneficial. Um, some would look at this and just say it's a meme and there's no real value to it. Um, but it's a version of Jade Druid that I thought I have to try out. It's different. It's, um, you know, it's still got all the strengths of Jade Druid, but this Tentacle Menace just adds a little bit of spice to this deck. So, let's have a look at the deck in action on the Wild Mode Ladder. Hazelbark versus Arthas. Okay. The Lord of here for a lesson. So, this is a Paladin. Um, I have Breath of Dreams in hand. I have Emerald Explorer. I'm keeping that. And Spreading Plague, if this is an odd paladin, seems like a sensible choice. And Tentacle Menace making his way into our hand, saying to us, play me. <laughs> yes, uh, maybe that will be our turn five play. We'll see. Okay, this is not odd paladin. I'd, I'd been facing a few odd paladins uh, lately. So just assumed it would be an odd paladin. No, it's mech paladin. This is going to be interesting. What is he thinking about? Hero power? <laughs> and pass? Is that is that going to be the play? Hello, dear. <laughs> Come on, you play Christology, just do something. Oh, thank you. Yes, that required so much thought. Maybe he's got a bad connection. Maybe he's playing on the train. Maybe, maybe he's got bad train RNG like I often have. Sorry, dearie. I can't. Free of that last be some So, behold into good RNG. Vargoth into the Ritualist. I still maintain one of the best combos available. Or rather, one of the best outcomes available for Jay Druid. It can stop an aggro deck in their tracks. Although, when they've got Flying Machine, 
maybe it doesn't do as much. Delightful. Oh, he's thinking. We're forcing him to think. So spreading plague here, I think has to be the pick. I did think about the dragon, but I don't think it does enough. Um, it just dies way too quickly. Why have one taunt on board when you can have five? The problem is going to be the flying machine. Um, he's just going to keep magnetizing and buffing it up. Unity. Yep. Precision. Exactly what he's doing. And that is going to kill two of our swords. We really need poison seeds. Delightful. Oh, that's a good pickup. Now that's a card that I've missed playing in Jade Druid. Naturalize. Um, Tentacle Menace. I think we just go for it. Oh, one cost poison seeds. Okay. Interesting. So we've made one of his cards cost four. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. Okay. We've got rid of the flying machine. We feel a lot safer now. What I'm hoping he will do is just dump his entire hand onto the board, do some magnetizing, and then turn seven we have poison seeds into spreading plague, um, which for a turn seven play is pretty insane. Normally, that would be a turn ten play, of course. I'll turn Okay, that was not quite the commitment of resources that I was hoping for, but I feel that we can stabilize now. The circle of life is over. So we say goodbye to Dame Hazelbark and we say hello to Malfurion. 15 armor in play, spreading plague, poison seeds, naturalize in hand, a couple of taunts as well. We're in a really good position here. And slowly but surely, we will grind him out of resources. I think that is the aim with this deck when you're facing a, a, a mech paladin. Let's not forget, though, that ultimately, the cycle of decay begins. this is a Jade Druid deck. Hmm. You know, there is a Jade Idol in this deck. <laughs> but against aggro, I guess you'll never really get an opportunity to start developing um, or shuffling the Jades, I guess. <clears throat> you just focus on surviving, running them out of threats, and then it is game over regardless. What a twist. We must stop this corruption. Primordial Drake. Would have been interesting, perhaps, but Light and I want to get a little bit more value on the AoE, the two damage AoE from the Drake. I want to get a little bit more value on it, so I'm just going to hold out for a while. I'm wondering if he'll attack the 7-5 into the 4-8, which will then put it in range of the Drake. That's a possibility. What would Uther do? But yes, there are a few dragons in this deck. There is um, 
Alex Straza, which I find quite interesting. It actually something like Alex Straza into Ysera Unleashed. I can see as a potential game-winning play. Put them down to 15, get a board full of dragons, and then smack them in the face. It's quite interesting. Staggering. And I guess Alex is an emergency heal against aggro um, if you just need to heal up to 15. And put an 8-8 on the board. I guess that can save you. Um, it's kind of like half arena but for eight okay pretty wide board is it time for the drake or actually do we just play poison seeds here the drake doesn't kill everything So poison seeds into Drake does kill everything. That's pretty good. And a really nice use of the Drake. As a Jade Druid player, I'm used to poison seeds spreading play. Um, but poison seeds Drake is perhaps even better. And I'm really digging the use of Naturalize and Stag. I love it. It just deals with big threats immediately. Here for a lesson. Okay, next game is against a mage. And this will be a test of this deck. Because the ladder is, of course, infested with mages. We only run one copy of Jade Idol in this deck, and so we're going to get rid of it. We don't want to see that until the very late game. Um, speaking of cards, we don't want to see the Ritualist. Although, in this instance, having one Ritualist in hand may be fine, as we have Oaken Summons, so maybe this increases our chances of getting Vargon. Okay, Secrets Mage, sure. Okay, what have you got for us? We have many secrets. Many secrets. Okay. again. Well, we get kind of lucky. We get Vargoth into the arm again, but we don't get a Ritualist because both of them are in our hand. <laughs> interesting. He's ignoring Vargoth. How very interesting. When you ignore Vargoth, bad things happen. So we're ramping up now. We're gonna be... Oh, behold! We are gonna be at 10 mana next turn. He is working on 5 mana this turn. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Now you kill him. Now you realise that you've messed up. And oh, it's so tempting to Alex's face. Put him down to 15. But this is bad. Is over. Right. 
So, we have the arm again now from Malfurion. This appears to be uh, a secrets mage that um, is going to struggle to get through my armor gain, my armor generation. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe Alameth is going to change a few things. But let's put him under pressure. Yeah. Putting the mage on a clock now with Alex Straza. He's going to have to now focus his resources Starlight. on clearing the board. What the hell is that? Oh. You play with fire, okay, Shadow. interesting. Your hands are My hand is full. Oh, his hand was full. Vaporize. Whoa. This dude plays Vaporize in his deck. And he's been playing single copies of cards, so is this a Reno Secrets Mage? Yeah. That's a shame. We don't get the decrease in cost on Ysera, but we can mill him, um, and I think that's even better. We bring him closer to fatigue. Uh, with those last two plays of ours. And that's pretty good. 6-5 body on the board. And mill your opponent with one card. So kind of you to join wow. That's Medivh. Yes indeed. This is a Reno Mage. What a twist. Very interesting. Um, that is Ice Block for sure. Do I want to kill Medivh? Light, light. I don't think we... What a twist. I think we care too much. Um, we can just armor up and we're fine. Even if he removes the taunts with some AoE. Do you know what? Death Let's not take any I chances. Let's not not. Take... Let's not take any risks. Let's keep the armor going. And I feel that there is nothing he can do to come back. Even with that weapon generating minions on the board. We have poison seeds. So we can deal with anything here. Interesting. Get a secret from your deck into play, maybe. Although he's a Reno deck by the looks of things, so there won't be a second copy of Ice Block to save him. Okay, that was a misplay. The correct play. The correct play was to fireball your own face. That was the correct play. But you can still ping your own face. You can still ping your own face and concede. The he thought about it. Is he passed his cursor over the ping. He thought about it. Alright. That was a pretty sweet win. Against a very strange deck. Let's look at this final highlight against a priest. Now I thought I was being clever. You know, I'd given him the cycle of decay begins. A bunch of rubbish, which he was resurrecting. I love how he got the Undertaker buff there. That's hilarious. But anyway, the Lich King is the only uh, the only significant threat. And 
you would think at this point, you'd think you're safe. You'd think that you can't die, surely? He's played both psychic screams. Blessings to you. But cycle of decay begins. Anti magic shell. Mass dispel combo. Cycle of decay begins. Absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Was that the only thing that could have beaten me there? I think so. Okay, Slug Cats J Druid, what do I think of this deck? It's a lot of fun. It adds a bit of a twist to J Druid um, with Tentacle Menace. You saw in the earlier game against the Mage, we were actually able to mill him of two cards with Tentacle Menace. Um, getting the discount on Ysera Unleashed would have been nice, so making her cost three um, comparative to the Vaporize would have been great. But um, it wasn't to be. But still, milling him was super nice too. So Tentacle Menace has proven to be a lot of fun for me. Um, it's very hit and miss as to the RNG of it. So um, you can make your Jade Idol cost 9, as you saw in the beginning clip of this video. And that's not a good thing. But sometimes it can really work out. You know, getting a one cost ultimate infestation has to be the, the ultimate in good RNG associated with Tentacle Menace. Okay, thank you very much for joining me everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you all again as always very soon for more Wild Mode Fun.